Welcome back to Dark Corner Streaming. We have previously reviewed films of director Curtis Harrington, but only for our regular bad movie strand. And there is certainly another side to his work, right from his debut feature, Night Tide, which you can find on YouTube, starring Dennis Hopper in his first lead role. As you expect from a debut, Harrington leans into his influences, notably Val Luton, whose cat people is almost a template for Night Tide, and Edgar Allan Poe, whose poem Annabelle Lee gives the film its title. And the film was released alongside Corman's The Raven, relating it tangentially to AIP's Poe cycle. Hopper's Johnny Drake meets a girl in a bar and is instantly fascinated by her. I am called Mora. She proves to have an unconventional job. I'm a mermaid. As part of the sideshow on the pier. I wear an artificial fishtail and I lie in a tank that looks like it's filled with water. And people pay 25 cents and come and look at me. But, needless to say, there may be more to Mora than meets the eye. In the past two years, Mora's had two boyfriends and they're both dead now while her boss, Captain Murdoch, is more blunt. She's a monster. Citing Greek myth. You certainly know the legend of the sirens, who in ancient days used to lure seafaring men to their destruction. But with nothing tangible to go on, is this anything more than rumour and Johnny's increasing paranoia? At its best, Night Tide nails the everydayness of the love story. Johnny's reaction to getting a date is so natural and spontaneous that you wonder if Hopper did it on the spur of the moment. Getting to know them as a couple is very Val Luton, as is the low-key suggestion that another girl might also like Johnny. Uh-huh. I didn't think you'd remember. Johnny. <laughs> Equally effective and Lutonesque is the background whisper that all is not right. The dance sequence in particular, identifying Mora as someone held under control who longs to cut loose, while also shot with a sense of palpable unease. Credit to Floyd Crosby, Roger Corman's regular cameraman on the Poe films, who had also shot classics like High Noon and Taboo. Elsewhere, Night Tide does lack the courage, or perhaps the confidence, to stick to that low-key approach. I'm afraid she's caught in a vortex of evil. With one sequence in particular, breaking the atmosphere and going all B-movie. It also lacks the real-world story that makes something like Cat People work. A 90-minute film can't just be is she or isn't she without us starting to drift. You need something else. <sighs> Especially as the situation doesn't really build or develop. It is what it is. Tony, I'm so afraid. I'm also not a fan of the ending. It feels in search of a better climax. It is, however, a lovely curio, atmospheric and very sincere. There's an unmistakable heart in this that marks it above its origins. This is not a film made to fill a quota. It's a story Harrington wanted to tell. It's not a forgotten classic, but I'm very fond of it, perhaps because I like its influences. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It all helps. Any thoughts on Night Tide or the films of Curtis Harrington? Let us know in the comments below.